The special election for the county council's at-large seat is less than two weeks away. In the coming days, CTV will introduce you to each of those candidates. Joining us in the studio today is Jonathan White. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. You and I have talked a few years ago. Make the case for Jonathan White at-large seat. Why should voters vote for you? Uh, the, reason, the number one reason why is because I care. Uh, we can't continue to uh, have these issues with crime, uh, with our schools, continue to go on. Um, I've served my country for 20 years in the federal government for an additional 10. Um, the reason why the uh, people should vote for me is because uh, service before self. That's what I bring to the county. But you are a Republican in a heavily Democratic uh, area. How are you going to make traction with the voters? What is your plan to make traction to, to, fig to convince them that you are the person for the job? Um, a lot of people know me in this area. Um, they, know I'm, they know me as a stand-up guy. And I think the voters won't change. They want somebody that's going to be there for them and uh, that has uh, integrity and is transparent. That's what they, uh, from the people I interview, that's what they want. That's what they want. So, Mr. White, you are um, vying against 12 others in the race right now. How do you overcome the issue of name recognition? You have Jolene Ivey, Tim Adams. How do you overcome that? Well, if you look at it, if you look at Prince George's County right now, if you look at the city of Bowie and look at the, uh, Jolene Ivey's di district, crime is up, and I think people want change. Our police need every resource possible to fight crime. With the budget, uh, you know, uh, the budget shortfalls, they're uh, they're not going to have they're going to have less people. You know, less people on the on the streets to fight crime. So I'm, my my goal is to give them every resource possible to fight crime and react to crime uh, quickly. So in terms of this budget shortfall that we've experienced this past year, how will you overcome that in terms of hiring enough police officers and firefighters for that matter? Uh, we, we need to look at what we do. Uh, look at the things we're doing good and look at the things we're doing bad. My suggestion is uh, take the playbook from Loudoun County. They utilize data centers. Um, to bring uh, additional uh, income, additional uh, money to the county. Mm -hmm. And if we can utilize that, uh, their playbook, uh, I think it should help the county out a whole lot. In your statement, you write about uh, a sustainable future for the county. How will you do that in Prince George's, create a sustainable future? Uh, first, uh, if we, uh, you've seen the movie Field of Dreams. Mm -hmm. If you build it, they will come. If we fight crime, uh, improve infrastructure, we will build a sustainable future. Talk about with education. You talk about supporting education. You ran for, at one point, for the school board. What's your plan for education here in the county? Uh, like I said, uh, the Maryland plan, it, uh, it's already out there. We just need to make sure we fight, uh, continue to uh, pr provide resources for those five pillars of the Maryland plan. And how, how will you go about that? Because it, uh, obviously the county and Baltimore had the biggest payout in terms of how much they had to bring to the table. Uh, how will you overcome that? Okay, we need to look at what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong and uh, fix what we're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. um, run an audit of uh, where we're spending money and um, uh, move on from there. So how will the county look different with Jonathan White as an at-large member? Uh, as an at-large member, uh, like I said, service before self. Uh, I will be there for you. I'll answer your questions and I'll make sure the job gets done and I will follow up if needed. Now you were in the Air Force, that was your career? Uh, Air Force. What would you bring to the table that you learned in the Air Force? Uh, discipline, uh, honesty, and integrity. Doing the right thing at the right time when no one's looking. Again, let me, let me go back to public safety. Um, I know we need more police officers, at least that's what the, the department says. How will you make sure the funds are there for that? How can, okay, and uh, how can you impact that as just one member like of the council? Saying, uh, uh, for instance, uh, the, one of the biggest problems in this area is carjacking. The Flock safety uh, camera system it costs about $2,500 per camera and $250 uh, initiation fee. We spent $1.3 million on this election right now, this special election. I think we can spend, what, another 25,000 on some uh, license plate cameras in order to reduce crime and car checkings in this area. So what will you do in the area of economic development? Uh, I've got data centers. We have to bring the data centers here. Uh, that's, the only, that's the only plan. We can't, uh, can't continue to uh, depend on um, uh, property tax to pay, for, uh, to pay for things. We have to bring uh, the data centers here. Talk about uh, affordable housing. Is that an issue for you here in the county? Affordable housing, uh, it's a big issue. Uh, the developers are coming in and uh, they're raising the property taxes uh, and pushing out the original re residents. We're going to have to change from under my plan and what I suggest, we're going to have to increase the impact fees uh, for these developers. Also, another big issue in the county that, that you had not mentioned yet was health care, access to health care for people. How do you, how will you guarantee that? 
to uh, expand that area. Uh, like I said, uh, the county always has resources. I just got to make sure that the people are aware of the resources and make sure the they you know, are aware, like I say, are aware of the resources and have access to those resources. Okay, once again, I know you've, this is going to be more than a six-minute interview. Talk about, again, why the voters are to vote for Jonathan. Like, make your case. Because, there, again, there are at least a dozen others who are voting who are going to be yeah, running yeah. for the office. Like I said, I'm a person that cares about this community. Uh, like I said, there's uh, 13 people running. There should be 113 people running for this community. Um, like I said, uh, this community, community is one of the best communities in, in, in the nation for African Americans. And uh, like I said, these problems we have now, we shouldn't be having. Uh, like I said, I want to be the part of the solution to fix that. Okay, Jonathan White, at-large member, all the best. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, well make sure to tune in tomorrow as we introduce another candidate, Tamara Davis-Brown.